Hello there everybody, it is me Freezer Bunny and welcome back to episode 35 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Okay guys, so I'm really really excited to record this episode because this is the first time that I'm using my brand new microphone to record like actual gameplay. So I'm really really excited you guys. I cannot wait, you know, I've invested so much on this microphone and I do hope that it is an improvement from what I had previously. And yeah, if you guys haven't seen my other video of me talking about this microphone and stuff please watch it because you know there's lots of nice little info and i want you guys to comment on whether or not you like the quality of this microphone okay so um let's see here today we are going to be controlling madame rachel west and uh let's see here so um okay first things first somebody needs to take care of our garden here so she is going to weed the garden and she's also going to water everything and tend everything and pretty much harvest everything as well uh, um one of the boys need to because there's like this puddle over here somebody needs to like do something about that because yeah it's gonna bother all the other sims so you just mop that puddle and then um look at him he's so grumpy mr grumpy mcgramp grandpa i guess i don't know look at the cow plant though i want to see the mouth of the i mean i want to see inside its mouth to see like if it has the cake thing or if it doesn't i'm not too sure um but yeah he's just gonna mop the thing and then actually have breakfast once he's done have a quick meal he's gonna have a quick meal of some cereal Malcolm Langrab. does he have work today Yes, he has work in nine hours. So actually, once he's done with his quick meal, we can have we can use the computer, and we can see whether or not we have any pen pal replies and all that stuff. So okay, group project. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. Kennedy's latest classroom assignment is a group project. Her group mates are all pretty smart. Should she try to contribute as much as they do, or just let them do the work? Of course she's going to try to contribute. Come on. Uh, okay, once they see har how hard Kennedy's working, the other kids start slacking off. No! No! Are you kidding me? It doesn't look like it made a positive impact on her school performance. Though that's so sad. Okay, blown cover. While working on an assignment, one of Piper's agents has his cover blown. Protocol says to pull the agents from the fields immediately, but the agent wants to finish the job. Should Piper offer him to escape or let him finish? Order him to escape. Uh, I think that would be the best option, I guess. I'm not so sure. Oh my god, why is the results not being shown? Oh my, did I just see this thing move? I just, I could have sworn it just moved. I don't know. I'm just probably hallucinating. I don't know. I could have sworn it freaking moves. Uh, but anyway, he is just having some breakfast. Mr. Malcolm Langrab eating this frick. Nope. Nope. You're not going to wash it. You're not going to wash it. Okay. Yes. It gave her some performance. Medium performance. So yes. I hope Piper gets the promotion today. I really want her to, you know, get promoted and all that good stuff. Because, of course, who doesn't want to have a promotion? Come on. And there we go. It does give me more money as opposed to when I just, you know, put the Sims, let the Sims do all the, um, you know, check for pen pal replies. And then, yeah, it gives me 70 Simones every time I drag the trash here. But if the Sims are the ones who throw the, throw the trash, it gives them less money, which is really weird. I think that's like the incentive they give for like making simmers do all the work because there are no maids and no butlers in the freaking sims 4 but anyway customer satisfaction an irate customer contacts brenton demanding a refund on her new smartphone he could just give her the customer a refund and get back to the game he's been playing or try to calm her down and talk her through the problem of course calm her down and talk her through the problem brenton should have learned by now that this kind of customer is just looking for a target on his backside may as well have red and white circles on it blah 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 oh my god we lost some performance that's so sad come on and then he is going to uh, more choices socialize with um, write a letter to, uh, ooh, look at these. Oh my god. Let's let, write a letter to Bridgeport. And then, let's see here. Okay. What are the other choices that we have? More choices, socialize, and then, um, find a pen pal, and then one more. More choices, socialize, and then ask a postcard from, uh, ooh, I guess not. 
I guess we didn't have any pen pal replies. Oh, yes, I think we did. I think we, um, let's see here. Let's see. I think we had like a new pen pal or something. I think we did. Uh, socialize and then ask a postcard from, nope, I guess not. Okay, so he's not necessarily doing anything, so let's just have him go to bed as well. Uh, get some rest and stuff for him. Do we need to have, like, anything specific? Oh, he needs to pickpocket someone. Okay, let's see here. Can you pickpocket your mother-in-law? <sighs> That's gonna be so sad, though. Let's try to pickpocket her. More choices. M no, mischief. I think it was in mischief. More choices, mischief, and pickpocket. There we go. Ooh, and look at him. He changed all the way into this every day just to pickpocket his freaking mother-in-law. This is so sad. You just have to wait for her to finish her chores and stuff. Can you pickpocket your father-in-law? Yes, you can. Oh my god, this is so bad, but it's also so good. Okay, he's like waiting. Okay, that's my target. I wonder how much money he's gonna, she's gonna give us. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if she's gonna give us some money or we're gonna lose money because we are in the same household. We all st share the same fund and I don't know. Um, okay. More choices, mischief, and pickpocket. Let's see how this thing works. Oh my god, the hug trick though. Hugging someone and then reaching out for their back pocket and grabbing their freaking wallet. Oh my god, and they're like, they're, they're like in a negative relationship. Okay, stop talking to her because I think it's gonna make her feel mad and stuff. Okay, you just wait for your dad-in-law. And then let's see whether or not you can pickpocket him as well. So, um, <laughs> this is so sad. But, yeah. Okay. okay, more choices, mischief, and then, um, oh, there's no pickpocket. Okay, what, what did it say? What did it say? Can't pickpocket again yet. People might get suspicious. Okay, sure. You just have to lay low, I guess, so. Um, hurry up and use the toilet or whatever you want and then you have to pickpocket someone Okay, so let's see here. What does she need? Okay, she needs some hunger and then what is this? Oh my oh my god, what? Oh my oh my god, this is mean that this is, it's her birthday or something I think it's her birthday actually. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. If it's Rachel's birthday Then it means that it's also Glenn's birthday. <gasps> you guys no this means that they're gonna be elders really soon. I'm really sad. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is this? Fruit yogurt. She keeps cooking some stuff. Oh my god, Glenn is such a hottie in his picture though. But oh my god, you guys. Oh my, his work starts in three hours. Actually, let's make him cook a cake, I guess, for himself. Let's have him cook a chocolate cake. And then Malcolm Langrub acquired the gardening skill. Okay, okay. Okay, and Rachel, you are also going to cook a cake for yourself as well. Um, I think she has more cake options. Okay, she has a blue confetti cake. It looks delish. I wonder what flavor it would be, though. Maybe bubblegum. You know, bubblegum is usually, like, a nice blue color, so... Um, and I think the kids are also on their way home as well, so... Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. Oh my god, you guys, we are finally going to be having Elder Sims. I can't wait to give them their makeovers and see, you know, all of the different Elder fashions and stuff. So, so yeah, um, probably the next part though. Oh, notification waffle, sure. Peyton is not the first C student at Landgrab Elementary and he surely won't be the last. Wouldn't the weekend be a great time for him to bump his grades up? Yes, sure. Okay, so it looks like he got a C. I think this was also his first day of class or something. So it, it's not so bad, actually. I don't think it was so bad. And then how's mom? Mom, how are you? Did you just seriously leave your cake? Come on, cook your cake. Rishun blue confetti cake. Oh my god, and he finished his cake already. Okay, you should add birthday candles and then um, hurry up and blow them. Oh, that, that did not sound right. Hurry up and blow the candles, I mean. And then let's see here. Okay, wait a second, you guys. I just got a text message, so one second. Alrighty, guys, we're back, and I was really, really nervous because I thought I was going to be getting some bad news, but it ended up being good news, so, whoo, thank goodness. Um, but anyway, um, let's actually 
change the volume of this to medium and then let's hope that nobody like steals our cake and stuff okay Rachel you need to finish this um you on the other hand mister you need to blow out the candles because yes you are aging up into an elder this is a little bit sad but oh my god you guys oh my god seriously though oh my god this he's our first elder oh my god you guys i'm just and oh look how happy he is oh you guys i want to include some of the confetti um look at that it's so beautiful and um i don't know what to feel right now he is an elder I'm just like, whoa, oh my god, he is like, oh, my back hurts. Glenn aged up, seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and interminable naps await. Party like the reapers, not right around the corner. What? No! No, you guys, the reaper? What? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, I'm like depressed now. No. Oh my god. Can, can he retire? Is there like an option to have him retire or something? No, I, I don't even want to think about the freaking Grim Reaper at this point. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, and she's here. Oh my god, yes, promotion. Okay, you guys, so Piper got a promotion to a field agent. Piper has been promoted to field agent. She will now make an additional of 16 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 37 simoleons per hour. Okay, cool, awesome, cool beans. Okay, mom is just gonna finish her thing so that she can also age up as well. Where's dad? Is he is he going to work or something? I love how he just kept his same exact outfit and stuff. Okay, he needs to go to work in a playful mood. So we need to like talk to someone and be playful and stuff. Okay, Malcolm, come here. Uh, okay, you are going to funny and then um, joke about fashion. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Malcolm, you're taking forever. There we go. I love how their outfits are, like, so similar. Um, but mom's cake can wait, I guess. We're just gonna put, like, some birthday candles. I'm guessing that if we put birthday candles, it can actually be, like, child material. And then, um... Uh, more choices, funny, and then impersonate celebrity. Okay, so this cake is just, just gonna wait over here in the corner where no one can reach it. So that hopefully nobody eats it and stuff. Okay, hurry up because your work literally starts in a few minutes. Okay, come on, you can do it. Oh, there we go. He is now playful. More choices, impishly pester, flash crazy eyes, and all that good stuff. And it's time for his work, so he needs to finish these interactions as fast as possible. So, oh my god. Okay, now, yep. It's time for both of their works, actually. So, he needs both of them need to go to work. And you also, oh, he has work in two hours. Okay. So you are just going to wait there, I guess. A uh, mom is going to blow out her candles as well. So she's going to blow out the candles. Come on, mom. You can do this. I keep calling her mom. She's racial. You guys, you know, you feel really attached to these sims, especially when they're like, you know, especially when you're like, you like made them and stuff. You know, you feel, you know, you feel like an attachment to them. So, um... You know, I have my own nicknames for them and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a little bit sad seeing them age up and, you know, eventually, you know, pass away. But, you know, I'm just making sure that they live a happy life. Um, I think that's the only thing that I can give them as their maker. <laughs> I feel I, I sound like God. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, though, um, I'm a little bit sad about the fact that, you know, a lot of the sims that we have are quite old and stuff so well you know uh they're already seniors so um other than that there's nothing much to do uh let's actually let's have her sleep for now and then somebody needs to clean the dishes oh my god somebody got promoted again okay so Brenton has been promoted to quality assurance. He will now make an additional of 7 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 41 simoleons per hour. He has also received the following bonus. 
375 simoleons and a stainless steel auto pot. His next shift is Monday at 10 a.m. Okay, somebody needs to clean this thing up. Oh, it doesn't want to be cleaned yet. There we go. Thank you for the 70 simoleons. Yes, trash can of the magical trash can kingdom. I don't know. <laughs> and then what else? Oh, Kennedy needs to work on her body, actually. So I want her to go jogging. I just want to make sure that nobody's, like, aging up today. Well, you know, other than the two sims that we've already aged up. And then, okay. How about him? Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. And let's see here. Um, I'll just take a sip of water. Let's follow Kennedy while she's working out. She actually lost quite a bit of weight, so that's really, really cool. Um, you guys can see that she's beginning to develop a nice figure and stuff like that. So I'm really, really proud of her for being so dedicated and stuff like that. But I'm really glad that he got promoted, So and his work starts in three days. So tomorrow we're probably going to be hanging out somewhere else. Oh my god, is he going to... Nope, stay away from the cow plant. Just feed it. And then you can dance, I guess. And then you, I think you are going to work. Yeah, his work starts in like literally one second or something, or three seconds, lol. And today, you go to work. Time for work, Malcolm. Make sure that you get promotion. Ah, uh, actually, I don't think he is going to get a promotion. Um, but Piper, oh my god, somebody has to clean up this mess. And then, somebody needs to like put away the leftovers. Um... Let's see here. How is he doing? Let's actually have him do his homework for now because and then yep um, Fun with the friends. Let's um, keep it in <laughs> Okay, you yeah, oh, performance lost. No, okay. Let's see here Piper I also want her to work out as well So she's just gonna go jogging really quickly and then how's Kennedy doing? Oh, she's tall and I love how she eats the cake immediately after she finishes jogging. That's that's cool. That's cool, Kennedy. Just push it. You know, that's really cool. Anyway, let's hurry up and speed things up here a little bit. Uh, when she finishes her dinner and stuff. Uh, and since she's... Oh my god, check her out, Mr. Mrs. Sexy. She, oh my god, that car though. OMG. And then... Um, Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to keep these parts short, and which means that I'm just going to end this part right here, okay, guys? Because I am binge recording because I'm going to be very, very busy for the next couple of days. I have to go to a wedding. I have to go to a wedding in two days, so I'm just trying to record as much stuff as I can so that I don't lose any time to upload. So anyway, I just... I'm gonna end this part right here, okay guys? So I just wanna thank you so much for watching. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Enjoy this part. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!